Hey guys, how's it going? So today, I'm going to make a new video about upgrading my MacBook Pro with the new SSD Crucial, it's the 525GB Crucial MX300 and 8GB kit, it's the 2x4GB It's DDR3L um, and it's made for Mac Okay, so we will see how it boots up before the new RAM and the SSD. So as you guys could see, it boots up around a minute and 10 seconds or 8 seconds. Yeah, I just can't wait to upgrade the system of this MacBook Pro. This will be my first time doing DIY and I hope I can help you guys who are considering to upgrade the RAM and the hard disk to SSD. Okay, so we will be opening up the bottom of the MacBook Pro using the double O Phillips screw. So, yeah. Okay guys, so I just got to the nearest Apple store and asked to get these bolts untightened all the bolts because I don't have the proper screwdriver and let's see how it looks like okay so the first thing to do is we should unplug the battery and let's do it okay so first of all we should remove the connector of the battery okay so it should looks like this they're not connecting and now we can unplug the memory So after installing the 8 gigs of RAM, now we will be installing the half terabyte Crucial MX300 SSD. And now we will be uninstalling these screws and install them to the new fresh SSD and after installing all these bolts the four bolts from the old HDD to the new SSD and also attaching this plastic so it, it'll be easier for future uninstallment um, because the Crucial has only 7 mm thickness while the HDD has 9.5 mm thickness we'll be using this adapter under these so it won't be flabby while we're using the laptop in the future okay so we have just installed the adapter for the crucial 7 mm to 9.5 mm and now we'll be installing this SSD to this laptop using the connector okay guys so we have just finished attaching the new SSD and also the 8 gigs of RAM and now we will be screwing the back of this laptop and we will see the speed test Okay guys, so as you can see, this MacBook Pro, it's the 13-inch and mid-2012. 
I'm running an 8 gigs of RAM with the storage SSD storage okay so that's all for now hope you guys enjoy this video and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and have a great day